Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, it is starting. The team of the year market crash is here. Prices are starting to fall. People are starting to sell cards from their clubs because team of the year is coming very soon. We're starting to get information. Yesterday, we learned who the nominees were that we will be voting on today to decide the team of the year in FIFA 23. So all of that and a lot more hype and information is leading people to start selling cards from their teams and it's making prices go down. So I wanna take you through the market right now and kind of what to expect over this next week and a half or so before we actually get to team of the year. I wanna talk more about this market crash and of course, what we know about team of the year. We had a brand new type of card leaked. New icons sound like they might be coming out as a part of team of the year. Uh, team of the year icons some crazy stuff around that we'll talk about that and of course what could happen just today on the fifa 23 market of course with that 88 plus icon dropping yesterday that moved the market a lot as well and with voting happening today could that create some more panic on prices so there's a lot to talk about we're going to fit it into one video today if you're excited for it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's talk about the team of the year market crash because yes I feel like it has arrived. Now, technically, it's been ongoing for a couple of days. As we look at some graphs and talk about it, you'll see. But yesterday, there was some pretty serious panic on a lot of cards. Of course, we like to look at this gold Mbappe as one of the most major cards on this game, as a very important card in this game, and one that we kind of use as like a barometer for the market in general. Mbappe on Sunday was how much? 830,000 coins. Yesterday, he just started to drop all day long, and there was a peak on the panic around the content drop. Yes, that icon pack that we had yesterday definitely played a part in that. But as you can tell, people are just starting to sell cards because they know team of the year is coming. Now, a lot of the cards that have gone down in price the most so far are your pretty expensive top tier cards, right? Your more expensive cards get sold off first in the panic selling of a big market crash like this because these are the players in FIFA. These players get sold off because if somebody has enough coins to afford a Lucio, or an Mbappe, or an Nkunku Path to Glory card, these are the guys that are going to be buying the Team of the Year cards when they come out. Lucio was 1.34 all the way down to 1.2. He did have a nice bounce back, and there was also a lot of nice bounce back on the market yesterday, but of course, that didn't last long. He's back down to the 1.2 million coin range. This Nkunku went from 1.6 down to 1.4 and is now back up a little bit at 1.5, but that's how these market crashes go. You have hours of panic selling, hours of prices dropping, and then a couple hours later, you see prices go back up, right? The same thing happened with the Mbappe card. Mbappe was 740,000 coins. He ended up rebounding back to about 787.90 where he is now. He will still go lower. And I want to talk you guys through what's happening next, right? With this market from now, we've seen kind of the first beginnings of a panic sell. We've started to see prices go down, but what's going to happen over the next week and a half before we actually get to team of the year? What's going to keep happening with these prices? Well, let me tell you a secret. They're just probably going to keep going down, but there's going to be some fluctuations in there. Just like we saw yesterday, there will be days and hours of panic selling. Like maybe today on Tuesday, we could see more panic because of the team of the year vote getting released, right? But I think you will see a market over the next few days that will continue to slowly drop with a couple ebbs and flows in there, of course, right? Because that's how market works, but a slow drop on most cards until we get to this next weekend and when we get to this next weekend it's gonna get pretty crazy right because that then we will be one week before team of the year yes we will still have the centurions promo going on at the same time and that's what makes this market this year a little bit different than in past years in past years we had like that team of the year warm-up series promo like legit last year we had team of the year warm-up series which right before the team of the year promo came out, we had a hard drop on the market. Like this Mbappe went from 1.06 last year down to 900K. Of course, he was out of packs and then rebounded back up. But take a look at Wissam Ben Yedder, right? His card price was about 745. And then we get that team of the year warm up series before team of the year. He goes from 700K down to 500K in one weekend, right? From a Thursday all the way to a Sunday, Monday timeframe, he drops 
that 200,000 coins in price. And I think that's going to happen this next upcoming weekend because still at the moment, we are in the middle of a Foot Centurions promo that is uh, got people kind of excited for the game, right? It seems like these cards are moving a lot in price. People are pretty excited to be playing FIFA right now. Um, and the lower tier of the market, right? We talk about cards that are, you know, three, 400K and below still move pretty well on the market. There's a lot of demand for that. And people are liking, at least at some level, this Centurions promo. And it's still gonna be going on next week as well. Again, the difference between this year and last year is last year we had that warm up series promo promo, which is like no cards in packs. It's all about save packs for team of the year. And they put the focus on the upcoming promo, just like we had this year before the world cup promo. And you guys remember how big the market crashed earlier this year, right? When Mbappe went from 1.4 mil down to a million coins right before the world cup because we had one of those warm-up series promos that takes all your focus off of what's happening and then it gets your sights set on the next promo. So since we don't have that this week, I think that's going to delay like the huge drop-off in the market until we get to this next weekend. So that's what I'll be watching out for. But again, I do think that prices will be slowly dropping off this week on most cards. And I mean, we take a look at some other cards that may not be affected as much. You, you maybe look at like Gold Van Dyke, some of these lower tier cards are like, Nate, you just said these guys have a lot of demand. They do, and they will continue to fluctuate around. But I do believe that these cards will probably end up still being lower in price as we head towards the weekend. A couple, Of course, there will be a couple anomalies in there of cards that are maybe going out of packs for the Centurions Team 2. Um, and as there still is a little bit of demand on the market, but I really do believe that you're going to see a lot of prices continue to drop off. So if you have not sold your team yet, it still might be a pretty fair time to sell some cards because I still feel like, especially for some of the Winter Wild cards and some of these other promo cards that are still at the prices that they are on this game, I think there are some bigger drops in price headed our way in the next week. So that's kind of an overview of the market and everything related to the team of your market crash over the next couple of days and how I expect it to go. Now let's turn the page a little bit and talk about something that could fuel the market crash and fuel some panic selling today and that is our votes this is going to like be trending on twitter trending everywhere today the team of the year vote it is every year because this is so big team of the year is the most iconic promo every single year in fifa and now we get to vote on it right the last few years we've had a say and today we will get that say ea.com uh, backslash or no forward slash team of the year, right? That's the website. We will be able to vote starting today. Now we know the nominees, right? EA tweeted these out yesterday and they showed us the nominees. And of course we're asking some questions. Where's Cristiano Ronaldo? Where's Antonio Rudiger? Where's David Alaba? Where's Trent Alexander Arnold? Like, I mean, you look at these nominees and you have a lot of questions. We, we have these questions every single year. We wonder why some players are in and why some players are not in. All we can know is, is that EA controls this. This is more about what players do we want to see in FIFA and less actually about what players uh, deserve to be in the team of the year, right? That's how it's been trending in the last couple of years. So whatever way you choose to vote today, there's going to be a lot of opinions and a lot of talking. But if you choose to vote on, you know, what you believe is the best for which players perform the best in the year 2022 or what cards you want to see in FIFA because of just the meta of FIFA or a mixture of both, Vote the way you want to vote today um, and have fun with it because there's going to be a lot of opinion shared today. It's going to be a very fun day deciding who we put in our team of the year votes. Uh, and then, of course, we expect this vote to probably take about a week because this would take us right up until the beginning of next week, which is then enough time for EA to turn around, whip up some cards, count the, the votes or rig it, I guess you could say, if you believe that they, they rig it a lot or a or little bit or some, who knows, uh, but then decide who's in the final team of the year 11, decide the 12th man, and then maybe some honorable mentions. So we'll talk more about that as we get closer. But again, one thing they did last year, and I just want to notify you guys about this, we talked about it yesterday too, is there could be a loading screen today in the game with all the nominees or multiple loading screens showing all the nominees and talking about the vote. Like it's all going to be about the team of the year vote today on this game. That's going to pull a lot of the hype. It might even make today's content a little bit lackluster uh, because that's where all the hype is for today. So watch out for that. And like I said, again, that could cause another, could be another um, catalyst for panic selling on the market today. Now, one thing that we learned yesterday, and this is this is a little bit of like some leak rumor type stuff. It looks pretty legit because it's been added to the web app code, but this relates to team of the year in a way that we have never seen team of the year affected before. And that is team 
of the year icons. Foot scoreboard, who we I just I did not see this Nepenthes. <laughs> The Penthes, hey, yo, bro, I did not see that reply earlier. Okay, that's funny. Um, so just added to the web app code, Foot Scoreboard tweeted about two different new types of icons that are most likely coming to FIFA during Team of the Year. The Team of the Year icon and the alternate reality icon. And yesterday we were shocked to see this. We were like, what in the world would this be? Now, EA has told us that prime icons are going to be like the highest version of the usual icon that we see. Um, they will go above that rating, I'm sure, of course, later on in the year, but we don't have icon moments anymore, right? And all of these different promo icons, like we've already seen with the World Cup icons this year, kind of replaces those icon moments. This sounds like we're getting team of the year specific icons and alternate reality icons. No idea what those are. Sounds like shapeshifters, right? But for team of the year icons, there's a lot of theories going around. Again, we're going to get leaks. We're going to get information. As of right now, I think the best theory out there is that it might just be icons who have had a team of the year in the past. Javi has had a team of the year in the past. Philip Lam has had a team of the year in the past. And older FIFAs, right? FIFA 13 for Javi. FIFA 14 for Philip Lam. Rooney's had a team of the year before. Javi Alonso, Casillas. There's a number of icons who have previously had team of the years. Could that be at least part of what this is? Potentially. And this is not confirmed yet. But I mean, I cannot not show you guys this card design. Because if this is the actual card design, it's been tweeted out by an account that I don't follow too much. Um, I would wait for foot scoreboard to like confirm it, but holy smokes, that might be one of the best icon card designs I have legit ever seen. That is beautiful. The mix of the already beautiful team of the year design combined with an icon card. That's incredible. So we'll see if that's true or not. And we'll also see if we get any more information about team of the year icon soon, but that is hype. And that is really, really cool. So I'm excited to vote today. I'm excited to get more information about team of the year because the frenzy is really starting to feel like. It's here, or it's still like, what, 11 days away, 10 days away, but it's still, we're getting close, guys, right? We're getting really close. So that's kind of all the team of the year related news and information. Now let's talk about current market, current FIFA, Centurions, and what's going on with this game. Yesterday, a part of what actually was another catalyst in the market crash and in prices dropping was the 88 plus World Cup or mid icon upgrade SBC. And I did it. It was one of the fastest icon SBCs I've ever completed because I had a duplicate Neuer that I had gotten just before the stream started. I got a nice pull. I got uh, Carlos Alberto. So I'm pretty excited about that. He's probably going to end up playing in the team. I haven't figured out how I want to do it yet. But that SBC yesterday was coming in at a pretty decent cost. Nothing like super cheap, but very craftable. And remember, people have a lot of fodder. And honestly, this is an, an icon upgrade. We have seen this one before. I think we saw it like two or three weeks ago, um, like in somewhere in December. And it was a favorite. And it kind of seems to have a decent pack weight. Of course, you got some bad packs in there. I've seen Shevchenko's. I've seen Perez. I've seen some really bad pack pulls, Closa, stuff like that. But also you have guys like me that have packed really good cards. World Cup icon Cruyff, I heard people packing. We packed somebody mid Pele on the stream yesterday. So for 246,000 coins, you get two solid packs back, tradable as well. And it's only two squads. So I think a lot of people really like this SBC you see for the 70% 70, 70 upvote and the thumbs up on that one. It moved the market a lot yesterday. Like I said, that, that was kind of this extra little dip. For a lot of these cards, like Mbappe was 750, 760, and then this SBC came out, he went down even lower to like 730,000 coins. This SBC yesterday caused some extra panic selling. One card that like I was able to trade with, um, and we traded with a lot yesterday, was this lower to mid tier, right? Take a look at Lucas Paqueta from 128k down to like 106,000 coins. Because if you're thinking about it, if somebody needs to go and do this SBC, it costs 246k. A lot of your cards that were around 300k and below dropped a lot and then ended up rebounding a bit too because like we said that's the part of the market that still has the most demand right now there were a ton of great fluctuations and we made a lot of coins yesterday trading with those cards like i bought this at 318 i bought this at 218 i bought this at 200 flat 
this at 202 this at 247 um some failed flips in here i bought this for 200 i literally broke even there or made nothing i bought a bunch of harry cools that i sold between 75 and 77k for like 68 to 70 um a lot of you know smaller flips like 5 10 20 000 coins worth of profit on these flips but just a lot of them added up to make it a really really good day on the market yesterday as there's still demand right in the that lower tier range now also a lot of people made coins yesterday because you guys know the drill big SBC drops, a lot of demand for it. What happens to fodder? It goes boom. I'm so glad that I tr I stocked my club and stocked the transfer list with 85s and 86s last night because 85s last night on the video were 7K, even like 7.5K, they were viable yesterday. They went all the way up to 9.6K, some of them over 10,000 coins. Of course, right now, these guys are all up. They're down just a tiny bit. I sold all of mine between 9.7 and 10K, and I was happy with that sell price. 86s went up as well. They went from like, what were we buying them at, 12K? 12K on 86s all the way to about 16, 17. Some of them sell, selling for a little bit higher than that. And then your 17 rate or 87 rated cards went up from 17K to about 20 plus. 88s finally rising again, 28K, 89s are up. Basically everything 85 plus went up in price. 84s didn't move that much, but like the spike that we saw on the rest of the fodder market was absolutely immense. It was a great, great opportunity to make coins yesterday. If you invested on the weekend at all, big W. Now, if you still have your fodder, do you have to sell it right now? I don't think you have to because there is still a lot of demand right out there right now. People are crafting Zidane, people are crafting or Jarzinho, um, and you know, maybe more SBCs today, which we'll take a look at a leak here in a second, could be more demand, or maybe another sort of gamble pack SBC later on this week could make the fodder go up a bit more. But one thing that I've noticed recently is a lot of times you get the best sales and you see the peak prices. Unless EA release a lot more content later on this week, the peak prices usually end up happening during the hype. The first two to three hours after an SBC is released, that's when I usually get the best sales on a lot of my fodder cards. So that's when I sold. I had a whole like 30 or 40 of them here that were on my transfer list that I cleared off uh, on the stream yesterday. Uh, but just 80, 85s and 86s, that's all that I bought. But it was really, really easy, like 3,000 coins of profit from 7K to almost 10K. So just a little bit less than 3K on the 85s. It was fantastic. So I would say don't hold on to your fodder too long because the demand was hot yesterday. But if you want to risk it, try for some lazy sales. It could still go higher later on this week. We will have to see. So that was an absolute W of a day for that. Now, also, we had an 81 plus double SBC, which is another W because this is a perfect pack to save up. If you're in a team of the year pack grind, I, I'm not a huge team of the year pack saver, but five rares, exactly gold, especially if you're doing the 100 pack and you have leftover rares, maybe this is a great place to dump your rares into. It's a W upgrade pack SBC, and it's going to be here until Friday. So that's perfect. Whether you want to save packs for Centurions team two or save them for team of the year, that's a great, great, great SBC to put rare golds into. And there's a lot you can get from those packs. Now I haven't had too much luck from them, but others have said that they had. So I'm going to try a few more this week and see what we can get from those. Now, speaking of SBCs, what's going to happen on the market today in terms of the content? Because there is one league and I feel like there's one SBC here that we're about to look at and show you that is very, very I mean, it's the highest chance of dropping today, in my opinion. Since we're getting the team of the year vote today, I feel like there's not going to be a lot of content. I feel like it might be a pretty quiet day, but this SBC could cause some waves. Ryan Kent and Tavernier, the boys from Rangers, a nice, uh, that would be two chemistry link. They're both from the same nation as well. This would be an old FIFA's a perfect link, right? All three uh, things with club, nation, and um, team, and league, sorry connecting a lot of good chemistry links here i don't know if this is going to be a um an spc that drops and you get both the cards for doing like a couple different sections or if it's two separate spcs or if it's a dynamic duo uh but they were both leaked as spcs i feel like it's going to be separate because ea know they can really draw a lot of hype out of this and if the stats are good these are predicted stats by the way foot sheriff said stats are a prediction but man i mean these are two very very hype cards that together now on the same team playing with the same club and especially with the links in fifa if the stats are good people are going to get really really excited about these two guys so 
Keep an eye out for this SBC today. It's coming soon. I feel like today would be a perfect day for E to drop this. Watch out with this SBC dropping to get these guys linked up in teams. Of course, you get automatically two points for putting both these guys on position in your squad. Two chemistry stars, if you will. Watch out for some of your English icons, right? A lot of people have done like the Pope SBC and stuff like that. So, you know, it might be pretty easy to link these guys when you think about it. But English icons and maybe some of those other players, like I'll be watching this Bruno Guimaraes today to see if he moves at all. If people put Pope in their squad, need another Newcastle link to get Pope chemistry uh, or stuff like that. Or again, like I said, some of your English icons or some of your heroes that are English because people might be going out and building some teams with those players um, if that drops today. Be trying to get some chemistry links in their squad. So watch out for that because that will be a really hype SBC pair that could drop today. But like I said, it might be a pretty quiet day because I think that voting is going to be where EA is going to press a lot of their hype and go going to uh, try to build a lot of the hype around the start of that team of the year news. So watch out for maybe loading screens today about that stuff on the menus as well. And definitely, definitely, definitely uh, keep an eye out for some market movements today related to the voting. So uh, one other last thing I guess to watch out for uh, today would just be uh, this Ledley King card. I don't know if any of you guys are trying to try out Ledley King, uh, the brand new hero. We got his price range updated yesterday, and his price is pretty high. He was starting the day at like 130,000 coins. He's now up at 180,000 coins. I mean, if you compare this to the World Cup hero Carvalho card, that card is 1,000% clear of this brand new Ledley King, but this card is brand new. It is hyped. People want to try it out. So, uh, that's why you see his price kind of moving up a lot. Watch out if you're trading with that card. There is a lot of demand for it. Um, and I think his price range is now like up at 600,000 coins. So it's nowhere near going to go extinct again. Uh, but that Ledley King has got a lot of hype today. And he is English again too. So if those two, Tavernier and uh, Kent, come today, watch out for a card like this. He's got all the hype. Brand new and uh, unextinct, I guess you could say, on the market. So it's going to be a pretty interesting day today with the vote. There's going to be a lot of hype around that and maybe the Ryan Kent and Tavernier SBCs. And of course, we'll be keeping watch on the market to see if it drops even further. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.